From around 2008 to 2011, there might not have been a more dominant defender in the NFL than Jets cornerback Darrell Rivas. Rivas was selected 14th overall by the Jets in 2007 out of Pittsburgh and was immediately a starter in his rookie year. Rivas trademarked the name Rivas Island which represented his ability to take the opposing team's number one receiver and shut him down in a man-to-man -man coverage for an entire game. To understand how good Rivas was, let's take a look back on this future Hall of Famer's career. In 2007, Rivas was the first rookie to start at corner for the Jets since 1996. He ended up having a nice season with 74 tackles, 3 interceptions, and 1 fumble recovery. He even had a great interception against two greats at their positions while covering Randy Moss and intercepting Tom Brady. He wasn't that dominant force yet, but we would soon see one of the best corners in the game blossom before our eyes. In year 2 for Rebus, which was 2008, he took another big step. He once again played in all 16 games and even made his first Pro Bowl. His stats were 45 tackles, 5 interceptions, his first career touchdown and even his first career sack, one forced fumble and two fumble recoveries. Revis was on the map as one of the better corners in football, but still not yet the best. He had some great moments in 08 like Week 1, a game-winning interception on a former Jets quarterback Chad Pennington with 5 seconds remaining. Revis had perfect position in the back corner of the end zone, boxing out the Dolphin receiver to seal the game. He followed that up by holding superstar wide receiver Randy Moss for two catches and only 22 yards. In week four, he had his first career pick six and returned it 32 yards on future Hall of Famer Kurt Warner. Here were some other performances that number one wide receivers had against Revis. Chad Johnson, five receptions, 57 yards. Randy Moss, three receptions, 26 yards. That's twice in one year. Revis locked up Moss for those keeping track at home. Stevie Johnson, two receptions, 13 yards. And Dion Branch, two receptions for six yards. This was the year that Brett Favre was a Jet, and after an 8 and 3 start, they did collapse and miss the playoffs, unfortunately. Revis, though, had himself a great sophomore season. 2009, which was year three for Revis, was arguably his best season in the NFL. Week one for the Jets was a great test with possibly the best wide receiver at the time in Andre Johnson. Revis limited him to four receptions and 35 yards. He then faced a the familiar foe, Randy Moss, coming off a 14 reception, 141 yard week one performance. Facing Revis, Moss only had four catches and 24 yards in week two. He had a phenomenal performance against Chad Ochocinco later in the season, holding him to zero catches. As you can tell by this list here, it didn't matter who Rebus was guarding in 2009, he was locking them up regardless, making it one of the best cornerback seasons in NFL history. The Bengals played the Jets in the wild card round and once again Rebus shined against Ocho Cinco, limiting him to only 2 receptions and 27 yards. Rebus's first playoff game went just about as you would expect it to go. In the divisional round, the Jets played the Chargers and quarterback Phillip Rivers only threw towards Rebus 3 times but that was still enough for him to make a game changing play. Rivers threw a jump ball to receiver Vincent Jackson while being covered by Revis, but even the 6 inch height difference wasn't enough as Revis jarred the pass loose, it tipped off Jackson's backside and in the hands of Revis for an interception. This play changed the momentum of that game and New York advanced to the AFC Championship to face the Colts. The Jets secondary played poorly against Peyton Manning aside from Revis who only allowed 2 receptions. The Colts' number one receiver Reggie Wayne was held to 55 yards while the second and third receivers like Austin Colley and Pierre Garçon had monster games of over 120 yards each. Peyton Manning played the Jets the right way which is a surprise to nobody. Just don't throw at number 24. Revis did finish 2009 with the most pass deflections in football at 31 and a career high 6 interceptions. Unfortunately, he lost to Charles Woodson for Defensive Player of the Year and he still received 14 votes though. Year 4 did not start off very well for Darrell Revis. There was a holdout by Revis due to his contract, but the Jets signed him before the season for 4 years, $32 million. Revis did strain his hamstring and miss 2 games, but ultimately he was still top dog at the cornerback position. In week 2 against Randy Moss, Revis held him to 2 catches for 38 yards, but unfortunately one was a touchdown on a crazy one-handed catch that no one could have covered. He held Broncos wide receiver Brandon Lloyd to 4 catches in week 6. One of his best performances came against the man they call Megatron, Calvin Johnson, who was held to 1 catch for 13 yards by Revis. 
A couple weeks later, he held Andre Johnson to four catches, 32 yards. He went against Chad Oshosanko and once again limited him to four receptions and 41 yards on nine targets. The Jets didn't make the playoffs once again, and once again they faced the Colts. This time the Jets won and Revis held Reggie Wayne to one catch for one yard. The Jets played the Patriots in the divisional round and took care of them, making the AFC Championship game. They played the Steelers who were loaded at wide receiver whether it was Mike Wallace, Emmanuel Sanders, Heinz Ward, or rookie Antonio Brown. Surprisingly, it wasn't the receivers that beat the Jets, it was running back Richard Mendenhall and they really didn't throw at Revis too much in this game. But Antonio Brown did seal the game with a fourth quarter catch with two minutes remaining to beat the Jets and knock them out of the playoffs. In 2011, Revis was 26 years old and played his last full season in New York. He had a nice season and made his presence known right away, intercepting Tony Romo and locking down Des Bryant in Week 1 on Sunday Night Football. That fourth quarter interception set up the Jets for a game-winning field goal and put them at 1-0 on the season. He had another memorable moment against the Dolphins while defending Brandon Marshall. Revis intercepted a ball at his own goal line and returned it 100 yards for a pick six. He later had another interception as well, giving him two on the night. Just like the divisional round two years prior, Revis intercepted a pass intended for Vincent Jackson and another momentum change resulting in a Jets win. The Jets had a chance to make the playoffs but had a late season collapse and ended up missing out. Revis did finish 2011 with 52 tackles, 4 interceptions, his 4th Pro Bowl appearance, and 3rd All-Pro team made as well. 2012 ended up being Revis's last season as a New York Jet and a season that was limited to 2 games after tearing his ACL. He did find a way to get a week 1 interception on Ryan Fitzpatrick so at least he had one on the year. After suffering the injury at Miami in week 3, that was the last time we would see Revis in a Jets uniform. Well at least we thought. On April 22nd, 2013, the Jets traded Darrell Revis to the Buccaneers for the 13th pick and a future 3rd round pick as well. Luckily for Tampa, Revis played in all 16 games coming off that ACL injury, but the Bucks as a team had a horrific season. Funny enough, the Bucks' first game of the season was at the Jets, so Revis had no time to wait before playing his former team. The Bucks as a team had a really bad season going 4-12, but for Revis he showed he could still play at a very high level. He finished 2013 winning Comeback Player of the Year award, his 5th Pro Bowl selection, 2 interceptions, 11 passes defended, 2 forced fumbles, and 50 tackles. His best moment of the season was sealing the Bucks' first win with a late interception on Dolphins quarterback Ryan Tannehill, ending the 0-8 start the Bucks got off to. Revis's one year in Tampa would end up being his only season there and was picked up by the Patriots after being released. The Pats snagged the now 29 year old Revis for one year, $12 million. After going 4 and 12 the year prior, Revis was given the total opposite in 2014, going 12 and 4 as a member of New England. Revis once again had a nice season with 47 tackles, 2 interceptions, 14 passes defended, and 1 forced fumble. In the playoffs, Revis had an interception on Andrew Luck during the 2014 AFC Championship game in the 45-7 defeat to advance to the Super Bowl. This of course was the year Malcolm Butler had the interception and Revis won his first Super Bowl ring in his 8th year. After the 2014 season concluded, Revis was once again a free agent. What happened next was unexpected and Revis went back to the Jets on a 5 year deal at the age of 30. 2015 was the last season where we'd see Revis play at a truly elite level. He ended that year with his 7th Pro Bowl appearance, 39 tackles, 5 interceptions, and 9 pass deflections as well. He even was listed at number 24 on the NFL's top 100 list for the 2015 season. As for the Jets, they were riding on the arm of Ryan Fitzpatrick offensively, but their defense finished top 10 in the NFL as well. Unfortunately, the Jets couldn't win their Week 17 game at Buffalo and ended up missing the playoffs at 10-6. After 2015, we never saw Revis play at that level ever again, which was sad to see. From 2017 to 2015, quarterbacks had a 60.4 quarterback rating when throwing at Revis. In 2016, that number jumped all the way up to 109.8. Revis was 31 at the time, and as we all know, father time is undefeated. The Jets overall had a down year in 2016, and it wasn't the end of the Jets' career that Revis had envisioned. Revis would end up being released by the Jets in March of 2017 and ended up being signed by Kansas City for the 2017 season. Revis played in five regular season games for KC at the age of 32, but they did make the playoffs. In the wild card round, the Chiefs had a comfortable 21-3 lead over the Titans in the middle of the third quarter, but Tennessee had one of the best comeback wins in playoff history, knocking off the Chiefs in round one. This would be it for Revis, 11 years in the league, 
four first team all pros made, seven Pro Bowls made, 29 career interceptions, and most likely a Hall of Famer in the next few years. It was a fabulous career and honestly maybe the most dominant defender in football for a four or five year stretch. Revis gave the Jets comfort of not having to worry about a team's number one receiver, whether it was Randy Moss, Andre Johnson, Chad Ochocinco, Calvin Johnson, Reggie Wayne, or just about any elite receiver the man guarded. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.